Welcome everyone. Let's say that we have a shape like this. All right. Uh, so what I want to do in this video is I want to show that if you name these angles x, y, and z, I want to show that x plus y plus z is equal to this angle right here, which we can call, I don't know, let's call theta. So this is the aim of this video. We want to show this to be true. Uh, and you can notice the, that the shape that we have here looks kind of like a boomerang, right? This looks kind of like a boomerang. I guess that's how you spell it. And I'm not sure if you can read it, but anyway, let's move on. So how can we prove this, uh, this equation to be true? Well, let's draw a line connecting these two points, this point and this point. Let's draw a line. And as you can notice, we have a triangle here, right? We have a new triangle here and a new triangle here. Now let's, let me do, me raise that as well. Okay, let's name these angles as well. So let's name this beta and this one uh, alpha. Now, what do we know? We know that since the uh, sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we know that theta plus beta plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees. This is no surprise to anyone, I hope. And if we consider the green triangle, the green one, the bigger triangle, well, it is, even though it is a larger triangle, it is still a triangle, right? So if we add all of, his, all of its inter interior angles, uh, their sum will be 180 degrees. So let's write that one as well. We have x plus, one angle is y plus beta, y plus beta, and I'm putting parentheses to emphasize that. Obviously, you don't, you don't need to put parentheses around, uh, around this quantity because we just have an addition. It doesn't change anything. And the other one is z plus alpha. This is, as I said, equal to 180 degrees. Now, let's subtract these uh, let's subtract these equations from one another. So when we do that, we have 180 degrees minus 180 degrees, which gives us zero. If you want, you can call degrees. On the right side and on the left, what we have is, well, we see that, we see that betas cancel here and alphas cancel here, so that we are left with x plus y plus z minus theta, right? Because we subtracted, that's why we put a minus sign here. And if we add both sides, if we add theta to both sides of the of this equation, we get that x plus y plus z is equal to theta. And look at this. This is what we wanted to do at the beginning, right? So we have proven that x plus y plus z, z is equal to theta in, in this geometry. If we have a thing that looks like a boomerang, right? If we have this, well then, you know that the interior angles, the sum of the interior angles will give you this angle. Uh, if you ever encounter an, a boomerang in real life and for some reason you need to know this angle, well, you can add the interior angles to find it, and obviously it would give you an approximation because we, he we here we have perfect uh, here we have perfect lines in a real boomerang. Uh, the sides would be kind of curvy. But anyway, I hope that you found this video interesting and you at least learned something. Uh, if you have any comments, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.